Well, slowly but surely, my life began to change. And I could give you many illustrations of that, but let me just give you one. I went on to graduate school at Harvard Business School. Had some pretty tough experiences with just the class discussion for about six weeks. And then they scheduled the first exam. Do you know what it was on? Quantitative decision making. Now, some of you watching this may say, oh man, that would be terrible. I'm a liberal arts major. Hey, I was an engineer. I used to tutor calculus. So I went into that exam absolutely confident that I would do well. Took my very first case study exam, never taken one of those before, and came out of that exam absolutely confident that I had not done well. I dragged back to my room in the dorm and I thought, wow, I blew my first exam in grad school and grades are important to me and my heart was just filled with anxiety. And then I remembered this verse in the Bible. It said that the fruit of the Spirit is love and joy and peace. And my mind just riveted on that word, peace. I said, I don't know much, but I'm definitely not experiencing peace. So I prayed a very simple prayer. I'm saying, God, I'm not asking for any favors in the exam. I'm just asking for peace. Do you know what? God answered both prayers. You say, what are you talking about? Prayer one, no favors on the exam. God answered that prayer. I wasn't so dumb in future exams. I did pray for favors on the exam. But then, in a matter of moments, my heart was flooded with peace. And it dawned on me, probably for the first time, how much it meant to have the supernatural God of the universe occupy your life, listen to your prayers, and in this case, give you peace.